Hello again, it's Vicky with Condi Systems Technical Support and I am in the CorelDRAW X6 ap application and I'm going to do a de demonstration on how to uh, create curves around the corners in the application and I have a simple graphic on the page here. This is uh, something I do here as well as uh, at Condi is make templates and uh, when uh, making some of these templates uh, uh, I have, it requires me to do some tracing and to trace this object or if you're using a graphic where you're uh, doing some other uh, things that you require you to use the the actual cut shape tools and uh, the curved corners and things like that this is a great way to uh, to do that so I'm going to demonstrate how to use uh, curve the corners in a couple of ways using some a couple of the tools over here to my left and I think this will make uh, life a little easier for you guys that are trying to learn this application. I make several videos on basic techniques in the application for uh, most of my videos are for beginners and uh, they don't go into a lot of detail but uh, certainly uh, I think it's a great starting point to show you how some of these tools work. Um, so let's get started on uh, curving some corners. Um, what I want to do first is to uh, grab the tool that I need to make my box around this object uh, with making templates um, I do a lot of the uh, I just trace the actual graphic in I'm sorry the actual product in so I have scanned this product and I'm ready to start tracing it so I'm gonna click on my rectangular tool here if you don't see it just uh, hover over this area here uh, and then uh, hold down your left mouse click and you can choose it. It says rectangle here. Now what that gives me is these crosshairs with a little box over to the lower right and that lets me know that my tool is activated and I'm ready to uh, begin my drawing of my square. Now this square is going to have uh, four pointed corners on it and what I need to do is to curve those corners and I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright so hold down your left mouse click over here to your uh, top left corner and then just start dragging hold it down and drag to the bottom right you get as close as you feel like you can and then release your mouse click um, now to zoom in on this so that you can get a little closer and uh, be a little more precise you would use your wheel on your mouse and if you push it forward it'll zoom in if you push it back towards you it'll zoom out and uh, to zoom in on the right place you would basically hover your mouse over the area in which you want to zoom in hold it there and then zoom in on that area now what I'm going to do is to slide up this box by holding my left mouse click on these nodes this node here you can see that my um, mouse changes to a double arrow and I'm just going to slide it up to the edge here and that's good enough now what I'm going to do is uh, scroll out and I'm going to scroll in on this area and I'm going to slide it up just a little bit to give it a little more space and uh, if I want to get closer I can zoom in further and then I'm going to zoom out to fit this back on my screen I can click here and then uh, go to fit and that puts it evenly back on my document alright and then we're going to slide this one over just a tidge and this one over just a little bit just to get it closer and I'm going to zoom back out and again this is one way you can do it there's also a hotkey for putting your for centering your uh, graphic on your page um, now what I'm ready to do is to curve these corners to the shape I see here and a couple of ways I can do that but first what I want to do is come up to um, because I'm still working with my box I'm going to stay on my rectangular tool and when I choose my rectangular tool it gives me all the menu items where I can uh, make changes uh, to more detail the actual tool to put more detail and to um, be more specific with the things I want to do while I have this tool selected but I'm going to click this this is a lock and this will lock uh, the corners in if I click on it you see the lock opens up 
and uh, I would be able to change uh, these corners individually. But I'm going to lock it because I want to change them all because the radius is the same on all four corners. So we're going to change them all at one time. So I'll lock it. And uh, these fields here, one, two, three, four, these are the fields, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so when I arrow up on this, you can see this start to put curvature in the corners. And simultaneously, they all change by just clicking one if this is locked. So I can do it that way. Now to get a little more precise, if I want, I can continue to do it this way. Or I can come over here and click on my shape tool. And um, you can see the darker arrow era. This has changed. And if I come over here and just grab one of these corners, it changes them all and I can just start turning it in until I get uh, where I want to be and release. So uh, that's a couple of ways to use uh, these tools here for creating curvature and radius on the corners. Uh, and then when I'm ready to release this, I guess, to where I can get off the box or deselect it, come up here and choose my pick tool again, changes it back, and then click somewhere outside of the area and that releases it and I'm ready to continue tracing the other areas of this so again uh, this is Vicki with Condi Systems and I hope this has helped thank you for your time